This is John Mason's vertical sculpture from 1963. This was one of the founding works that established the Arkansas Museum of Fine Arts collection of contemporary craft. When Mason taught his students at Pomona College, he, he promoted the concept of the presence of the object. And this work by Mason commands a presence. There's a great sense of dynamism and energy in the work. It's mostly hand-built, meaning Mason took slabs of clay and either formed them on the floor, or sometimes he worked on the easel, as he called it, but it was actually the wall of his studio. And he manipulated the material, and he would press it against the metal armature that exists inside and build this form up in stark contrast to what a traditional potter was doing in turning the vessel on the wheel and drawing the walls up this that way. He's literally adding and taking away. He's carving, he's punching, he's gouging. If you were to pan over this work, you can see his fingerprints, you can see his palm prints. You can see that energy of him as an artist. And then at the very end, he accentuates this one area with this blood red glaze. Mason was part of that founding group of, of, of artists and sculptors who brought that abstract expressionist ideology to the West Coast. They pushed ceramics to its technical and material limits. Even to this day, there continues to be this, this dialogue, this debate between craft and art. And I tend to view the distinction between the artist's intent and the way in which the object is made. There's a great amount of craftsmanship in this work. But if you asked Mason whether he considered himself a craftsperson, he would probably say unequivocally, no, I am a sculptor. I happen to work in a uh, ceramic medium. And as he evolved as an artist, his style did grow much tighter and angular. It doesn't have the looseness of it. But again, this was an object of its time. One of the things that the Arkansas Museum of Fine Arts does, I think, quite well is that it integrates its collections. Yes, it has the strength of, of drawing, but also contemporary craft. And what we like to do is show works together and let visitors draw those connections and come to those conclusions on their own and um, see how different artists are working with, in essence, many of the same materials but in innovative and creative ways.